When I was a little kid, I pondered what it would be like to fly through the air. As an adult, I've done things like spelunking, rappelling, ziplining, paragliding, parasailing, jumping out of airplanes. And when a client said to me, my god, what's left? I said, I've always wanted to try flying trapeze. And as the words came out of my mouth, I realized, I got to go do this. So I found myself a couple weeks later, two and a half years ago right now, in Santa Monica on the pier at Trapeze School New York. I got belted in, I got my hands chalked up, I got what they call ground school, which is where they teach you on the ground what you're going to do 30 feet in the air. And I was ready to climb that ladder. I was scared. It was a very tall ladder. They belay you in so you can't fall down, which is good. You climb this very tall ladder and it seems rickety and you get halfway up and you think you're never going to make it. And I got to the top and I was winded and I thought, oh my god, can I actually do this? I thought I was in better shape than this. And then they hand you the bar. Now, I brought the bar with me. It's about 10 pounds. It's a very heavy bar for any of you that want to pick it up. They hand you the bar, they hold the back of your belt, and you lean out over the net. And because the bar is so heavy, it starts to drag you across, but you have to stay there. And then you wait for your calls. And on ready, you bend your knees, and on hep, you jump through the air, and you fly for the first time. It is the coolest feeling ever, but that's just the beginning. Because at the very end of your swing, you put your legs up on the bar, and you hang there like you would a little kid on a jungle gym, or me on a jungle gym, because I still do that. And you reach out towards the ocean, at least in Santa Monica, where later someone will catch you. But for the rest of the class, you work on this trick. You work on getting the guts to jump off the platform. You work on your form. You work on your timing. And then you get to do the catch. They talk to you on the ground about the logistics of that, about doing catch hands, which is basically the I'm going to choke you hand position. And you do your first trick. I nailed it the first time. He catches you, typically a strapping young man with his shirt off, ladies, just so you know. He swings with you a little bit and drops you gently into the net. And the more you do this, the harder the tricks get. I've been doing this about two and a half years. I've done well over 15 tricks. Splits and straddles and layouts. And I'm working on something now called a hux salto, which is five stages of trick in about seven seconds. It's really, really hard. And I wonder if my body can take it. I've gone through dozens of blister band-aids. I do a lot of massage. I have very soft hands. They tear. They bleed. I've punched a catcher in the face, sorry, Sean, and ended up spraining my wrist. I've had bruises and weird rope marks on my body, and people wonder what I'm doing. And just when I think my body can't take it, I realize I'm flying with a man who's 78 years old and still does it. With the trapeze, my wardrobe has expanded, clearly. My drawers are over overflowing with weird socks and funky leggings and tutus. And one class, I actually showed up wearing a Burt head from Burt and Ernie, and people simply went, oh, hey, Kathy. They knew it was me. I'm definitely addicted. The slogan of my school is forget fear, worry about the addiction. I'm so addicted, I actually put a bar in my office, and I hang upside down in between clients. I have a trapeze in my garage, which I swing on. That's what I brought. The other thing that's so cool about trapeze is I'm a little bit type A. OK, I'm very type A. And I love crossing things off a list. I love a progression of I'm moving forward in something. And when you do trapeze, you get to, because there's this clear momentum from the first trick all the way out. I'm doing level four tricks now, which is so cool, starting with a knee hang two and a half years ago. And I've made friends all over the world. Every time I travel, I do a different trapeze rig. I've been on six different rigs, two in Los Angeles, one in Escondido, one in Las Vegas, one in Denver, and one in Seattle where I actually did a show for the public. It was so cool. And these people are pure, unconditional love. They are there for you through all of it. But then the fateful day came that everybody worried about. <laughs> I was doing a trick called a penny roll. It's a very hard trick. You do your knee hang, and then you sit up on top of the bar. You lean back on the final, and on hep, you let go. And you actually spin under the bar and get caught. Well, on that day, I was not in the present moment. I was projecting ahead to what was going to happen, and I spun about five times and landed feet first, thank God, in the net. And I basically almost ripped my little toe off. I needed five stitches. I had a major dislocation. And people said, oh, I guess you're done with trapeze. And I said, oh, I guess you don't know me very well. <laughs> I don't want to be known for falling down. I want to be known for getting up. 
And what that day, what that penny roll taught me was I wasn't in the present moment. I was so worried about later would I catch that trick. I went before the hub. I was not living in that moment. And since I teach stress reduction and mindfulness, I realized it was a lesson. And the trapeze is a parallel for life. Maybe you're having a bad day. Maybe you're just having a bad hair day. But you have to take those chances. You have to jump off that platform when they say hep and know that someone's there to catch you. And at the very least, you have a net underneath you. I see people who don't reach for anything. They sit at home in fear. They have this list that they never accomplish. And to me, we have to go for it. We have to stretch ourselves. We have to reach for the stars and do something that we think is beyond what we can do. And through doing something as silly as flying trapeze, it has brought me such joy. It's brought me a new exercise. This is the most fit I've ever been at 45 years old. I can do a pull-up, I think, for the first time in my life. I have a new family. I have a new take on life. And I was doing a radio show, and I told the woman all the stuff that I do, and she said, oh my god, do you have a death wish? And I said, no, I have a life wish. I create life with every breath I take. And what is the point of a bucket list if it sits in a drawer and you never cross anything off? What are we saving that china for and that pretty lingerie, that special occasion that never comes? We create our limits. We are limitless. So go for it. I'm Kathy Groover, and I'm a trapeze artist. Woo